y'all, it's Jordan Monin with J Money Disc Golf coming at you with part two of my 2023 in the bag preview. So today I'm talking about mid ranges and I on an average day carry five mid ranges ranging from understable to extremely overstable. Starting off with my understable mid range, I carry a mint discs lobster and I love this disc for panning turnover shots to release on hyzer and get that flip, flip over, panning turn, slow finish. The Lobster is a five speed mid range with a fairly shallow rim, but it has enough depth that I can engage my entire hand and really rip through the disc with a power grip, enabling me to shape those shots on tight fairways where I need that late continuously turning disc. I really like the Lobster because I can do a lot of different things with it depending on the angle of release. If I want a straight shot for about 100 feet, 150 feet, and then a late turn, I can do that with a heavy hyzer. If I want an immediate flip, I can do that by releasing it flat or even a gentle ante. So the versatility of the disc is one thing that I really love, but the reason that I continue to carry it in my bag and I go to it nearly every round is that consistent, dependable understability for a lot of different shot shapes. The next slot in my bag is a straight point and shoot mid range. And for that, I carry the Mint Discs Mustang. And I love this disc because it is a stable disc it is a torque resistant disc, but it is, it is an extremely straight disc. If I release it on a hyzer, it'll stay on a hyzer. I can do a little slight hyzer flip up and it will just ride straight, gently finishing left at the end of the flight. Or if I release it flat or slightly forced over, it will continue to pan throughout the flight without ever having a hard right turn. So as far as straight mid ranges that you know exactly where you're going and you release it on the right line, it will go on that line. The Mint Discs Mustang is the ticket. The complement to the Mustang in my bag is the Glow Z Buzz. I really like this run of Buzz because it is slightly more overstable than most other plastics the Buzz comes in. The Glow Buzz has a consistent finish every single time. I can release it on hyzer, it will stay on hyzer while fighting to the left the entire time. If I release it flat, it will ride straight for about 85 to 90% of its flight before gently finishing. It is extremely torque resistant, even more so than the Mustang, and takes a really huge amount of power to actually flip it over when released on a proper slight hyzer. The other thing that I like about this disc is it handles headwinds extremely well as far as mid ranges go. The Mustang in a headwind has a tendency to flip quicker, more easily. With the torque resistance behind the buzz, it will hold the line better in a headwind. It also handles elevation change better because it is a little bit more overstable. You can put it on slightly different lines or slightly odd lines, especially with elevation change, and it will continue to hold the proper way throughout the entire flight. Next up is my overstable utility disc, and that is the Mint Discs Bobcat. The way that I think about the Bobcat is a slightly longer zone. It is a consistently overstable, very flat mid-range that I use for forehand and backhand that is just out of reach of the zone, but still needs that consistent overstability and consistent finish. The Bobcat is the perfect complement to the buzz because it can reach further around corners or harder finishes at the end of the flight. And I like having that in the bag because I still have the distance of the buzz but more finish and I don't have to step up to a fairway or try and overpower a zone. And finally, I have my meat hook mid-range and that is the MVP deflector. This is the most overstable mid-range I have been able to find on the market that is still comfortable in the hand. I love that throughout any flight, forehand, backhand, overhand, this is always going to finish. It is just wickedly overstable. It's great for skip shots, great for flex forehands, flex backhands. And as I said, it's the most overstable mid-range that I have been able to find. It is kind of a utility disc because it is so overstable, but it has gotten me out of a lot of jams and a lot of tight spots. It is also one of the best mid-ranges for forehand rollers that I've ever found. It's overstability continuously fights to um, keep a cut angle as opposed to turning and curling. And so for that kind of straight or even right turning forehand roller that isn't super long, the deflector comes in extremely handy 
And like I said, it's a utility disc that has saved my bacon many, many times. So that is part two of my 2023 in the bag preview. Part three will be coming out soon, talking about my fairway drivers. If you missed part one, talking about my putters, take a look at the description. I've got the link to that video down there. And as always, before you go, please subscribe, like, and share the channel with a friend.